So here's the new aquaponics system. It's very uh, rudimentary at the moment. We've temporary power brought into here. Um, and we've got two filters. This here, 1,000 litres sometimes. 1,000 litres sometimes. Approximately 250 to 300 litres of hydrogen on top. Uh, this is flood and drain into our main fish tank. Temporary lids, everything's all temporary, as you can see there. I don't know if you'll be able to see. These are over winters. We're absolutely delighted with the fish. Um, they've overwintered unbelievably well. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see, their spots and their colours are just, they look so much better. Now we, we thought they were pretty healthy in the old system, but they're unbelievable in this system. So basically this is the, uh, the first fish tank, 1000 litre fish tank. These two beds flood into here. This just instead of flooding down, floods into this tank. Gets a lot of variation in here. There's a lot of stuff only started in these two beds. A lot of herbs, uh, courgettes, cucumbers, tomatoes. Very bad weather here, so they all don't look the best. But they're starting off. I mean, it's the 1st of June and it's our first day above 20 degrees. So it's a bit of a nightmare, really, getting started. Last year we had the, the one deep water culture, but for the least investment, this was the best return. Uh, so we have three interlinked from the sump tank that flows out into this deep water, overflows into this tub and overflows into here, and then it flows down through that pipe all the way back in to the sump tank again. Well, the main, the main upgrade the part that we like the best about this new system is the new filtration on this system. This is the radial flow and this is the K1 media. Basically we didn't want to have, we couldn't have a huge amount of uh, K1 or hydrotron media. We wanted to stock a, a decent amount of fish in the water uh, and we wanted to have a large size fish, fish tank as it is. But we needed more filtration so we used more K1 media which is very good for filtration. Uh, so this tank overflows from the bottom because there's a pipe going all the way down to the bottom. So instead of just overflowing at the top, it sucks at the bottom, as Rob Bob would tell you there. Um, so it sucks, basically what happens is the trout move around and the heaviest solids will be at the bottom. So it overflows into the bottom, goes out the pipe, it flows into the radial flow. And as the system cycles, and the water level rises in the fish tank, the water flows into this middle pipe. And it has to, it wants to go out here. So to get out here, it needs to flow down this orange pipe and up again. And that turn in the water, that turn, the heavy solids sink to the bottom. And you can see all that heavy solids at the bottom. There's nothing going on here, no extra pump needed. It's just using gravity and it's amazing. That was emptied. We emptied that about a week and a half ago and it was crystal clean clear. And that's all that happens here. So what happens with that water is it then flows over to here. And this is K1 media. Now I have the air pump turned off because it's really, really loud. But all that K1 media just, it moves around inside here. And uh, it basically, is unbelievable for you know your bacteria content surface area so this is the way forward i think mixing it in with aquaponics major problem is enough filtration for the amount of fish you want to put into a tank you need to have a huge area so i i like this idea stocking more fish put some k1 media in there uh, as you can see it's all temporary electronics at the moment all our electrical equipment is all temporary um, we wanted to cycle the system, that's why we've had no updates for the last six weeks. Cycling the system and getting it set up and finished. And uh, 
It's running great. It's running really great, apart from our bad weather. The, uh, the, the next part of the system, as long as you don't kill yourself, is getting these two tanks in place. If we can get these two tanks in place, these will be fish tank 2 and fish tank 3. These will have grow beds above them. And they'll be connected in to the system exactly the same way as that tank is there. So that's the basic update on it. We're hoping to get the electrics put overhead and connected up properly in a waterproof box. Get these two tanks in and the hydrotron in and so on. And um, put an enclosure here and tidy up all of the stuff that's inside there. So if there's anything that you have any questions on or if you want more details on anything that's going on there um, just send, leave us a comment and uh, if you like these type of videos you know you know what to do thumbs up subscribe So here we have some nice treats, some grubs and worms, fish. Thank you. 